So we've been putting in some cattle panel trellises, as you may have seen in my recent video. But cattle panels cost about 35 bucks, sometimes more. You might have to spend a little bit to get some T-posts if you can't scavenge them from something else, you know, to level them up and tie them up. So what if you didn't have any money? Could you make a good working trellis with no money? That's what we're gonna do today. The first thing we need are some sticks or some saplings that we can use as supports. These are free. I want trellises that are as tall as I am. I have a convenient way to measure. That's how tall it would be if it was straight up. But we're not gonna put it exactly straight up. We'll put it on an angle a little bit. So right about there, I know where I need to cut it. There's one. And now that becomes my measuring post for the other one. This last stick is about 10 feet, and this will be the top bar of our trellis. So for our next, our next trick, all we gotta do is make a teepee here. You've probably seen bean teepees. This is the upgrade on the bean teepees. It helps if you have an assistant to hold it for you. So we want our center post, our center beam to go across from here down there. So if you could just hold that right there. I am gonna wrap, there you go. Wrap this around here really tight, as we can get it. And tie it off. So this teepee stays put, that's the idea. And this is just baling twine that's left over from some hay bales. You can often get this stuff for free at feed stores and stuff. They throw it away all the time. Or if you have to buy hay, you can always save some of it. But any kind of twine or rope that you can find will work. I was recently at my friend Noah's homestead and he works with Foundations for Farming. And Foundations for Farming came out of Africa. And they work with a lot of farmers who don't have immediate access to all kinds of first world innovations like cattle panels and T-posts. And there's not a lot of money to go around and there's not a lot of manufacturing. So often as Americans, I think we look at stuff and we go, I could just buy a solution to that. That would be really, really easy and fast. However, necessity is a mother of invention. And sometimes doing something with simplicity is also beautiful. So when I was looking at his well-watered garden demonstration at his little um, homestead, I, I was just looking at how beautiful this simple garden was, all done with hand tools, and these simple trellises that were made there in the middle of it. And I thought, yeah, it's been a long time since I made a trellis out of sticks. I think I've fallen prey to materialism, and therefore I must do penance by creating one for my garden and sharing it with all of you. That one goes over there. Now it's time for the Coupe de Grocchi.
that is beautiful. All ready to put a few strings on and let your beans and cucumbers grow up it. You can put some at the bases of the teepees and you can run some strings through the middle here. And of course you could continue doing this sort of thing and just keep making teepees down an entire row and put them on there. And it looks much more like the Shire rather than like modern industrial clever farming like the trellis to make you jealous. Trellis to make you jealous is totally epic but this does have some sort of rustic charm to it and it has the benefit of being completely free unlike the trellis to make you jealous behind me or the cattle panels we've been using. It's simple, it's biodegradable, it looks pretty. And you'll see it in action as soon as it warms up a little more and we start planting it. Thanks for joining me. If you want some more good gardening ideas, check out my books. I'll put a link below. I am an author who ended up with a YouTube channel. And whether you join me here or you buy my books, I'm glad either way. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.